Hi, my name is Chris Sharp. I'm uh, 41 years old. I um, grew up in the Methodist Church, had been basically inactive for the last decade or so, and uh, last year felt a pull towards the Catholic Church. My, my wife is Catholic, and um, I began attending Mass with my family uh, in February of last year and talked to Drew Denton about uh, joining the church and what that would require. Well, the Easter Vigil is very special to me. Uh, my, my first experience with it was at uh, the, the church where my wife was attending when she converted to Catholicism and she was baptized in the Easter Vigil and it was just a beautiful service. Um, and so I attended that one and I attended last year's Easter Vigil here and then this year's Easter Vigil and this year was the most meaningful in some ways because the Easter Vigil service here was very beautiful. Um, I, I really love the service that it starts in darkness. Uh, it, uh, and this slowly lit by the candles. Uh, you hear the entire story of faith up until the resurrection. And then when you reach that point in the service, all the lights come on and the music comes on. and it's just a glorious moment after all the waiting of Lent. It's really uh, beautiful and glorious. Absolutely, I, I think it's a, a, a wonderful experience. I, I think, you know, it's traditional to come to church on Sunday morning, at least in, in my previous tradition. Um, and I think a lot of a lot of people want to come Sunday morning because that's you know obviously p people with children and staying up late. But if if you can, I just think it's a wonderful experience to uh, to be able to participate in the full event. It really you you invest yourself in this hours long service that then ends in this beautiful sacrament of baptism and confirmation. Holy Thursday um, is probably my favorite, my next favorite service as far as like you've, you've been in the season of Lent and you walk in and it's just a celebration. Uh, we're celebrating Jesus coming into Jerusalem and, and the you know, beginning of the Passion story and then the, um, you know, the, the actual Last Supper that instituted the Eucharist. Uh, and that's, you know, a beautiful celebration. Uh, and, and the, you know, the ending of the service where we uh, venerate the, uh, the consecrated host is, is always a beautiful thing that we, you know, march together as a group uh, and, and uh, find peace and solace in the presence of the Eucharist. Good Friday also was was a, a beautiful service in a different way. Um, it's it's far more solemn, and um, but it's still you you really feel the power of the crucifixion and what that sacrifice meant. I go to Mass because it's, uh, it, it fills a, a need in my life for some structure. Uh, I like to participate in the church. I, I know that the, by participating here at IHM, I, I'm participating in the global church. Uh, it's something that I feel very connected to. And um, you know, now that I'm able to fully participate in the Mass, it's, it's even better. I'm, I'm able to participate in the Sacrament of Communion, and that's just a, a wonderful thing every week.
Um, I would say that uh, they're probably missing out on something that could really enrich their lives and deepen their faith. Uh, you know, I think that we, you know, uh, we, we're better people if we develop good habits, and I, and I think coming to the Mass is a, is a good habit that I've been you know, pretty intent on keeping. Uh, the Eucharist. I mean, and um, you know, I, I mean, I, I really enjoy the entire experience. Uh, you know, from coming in and, and crossing myself with uh, baptismal water to uh, sitting and, and having a moment of prayer before the mass begins, uh, the music, and, and you know, the different, the path that the liturgy takes throughout the season, the liturgical calendar, um, and. Uh, uh, you know, really, I, I guess the, it's, it's hard to pick a favorite part, uh, but, you know, I, I think the most meaningful part for me is the, is the Eucharist itself.